Hi there, this is Anisha Go for Quazoo, and in honor of it being Valentine's Day next week, I thought I would check out uh, the 1-800-Flowers bot. Um, we are supposed to be able to use this bot and order flowers without having to talk to anyone or get on the actual website, which um, makes me unbelievably happy. So let's get started. All right, so it's telling us we always have the option to speak to a customer service representative, which I uh, try not to do at any uh, chance I get. <clears throat> let's see. Let's look at order now. Let's see. All right, so it when you click order now, it takes you into the assistant. So we'll get started. Uh, find the best prices and see what's available. Pick one of the recipients below or add a new one. Okay, well, it didn't give me an option for a recipient, so let's just type in, um, let's type in mom. In case the florist needs to contact them. Okay, I wish I was able to make a selection before I put out any of this information, um, but I'll just, uh, I'll just go with it. Let's put... Okay, so you can see I just typed in the name and I typed in a phone number. And let's see. Oh, I have to type in the recipient's full name. Let's see. Okay, yes. All right, so it has the name and the phone number. All right, so thank you, flowers, roses get well, birthday, so you can see how there's different categories here. Same day flowers. <clears throat> so let's just say I am getting birthday. Let's say it's her birthday. Let's see, here are our birthday options. We have trophy, birthday surprise, birthday gift pail, fruit bouquets. So far you can see how they have a nice group, a nice, Nice different um, categories broken down. They even have chocolates. Um, so these, I guess, are their typical birthday um, birthday selections that they would have. So let's just let's just select one and see what happens. When would you like these delivered? We'll say uh, let's just say tomorrow. What is the message? Let's just say happy birthday. Um, now, I understand the whole point of bots is to not have to do a lot of work, to not have to type if I don't have to, but with something like this where you want to write a special message, I understand that they don't have, um, you know, prompts already set up. What is your billing address and so on and so forth. Um, I don't want to put my billing address in here, but um, let's just say, I'm going to just make it up, let's see. Um, this is a place that I, I'm just guessing at. Would you like to save it? Let's not save it. It's good that you can save the actual, um, <clears throat> it's good that you can actually save the address, that it will save it in your book so that you can use it every time if you want to send it to other people. Let's see. Okay, now this is what's strange here. You're almost there. We're going to send the birthday flowers to, it has Sharon Angelo, and it has an address, which I did not put in. And I listed the phone number. It didn't ask me what her address was. It only asked me her name and her phone number, which I find a little strange. So something is off. Why would they assume that that was her address? When it's definitely not. Now let's look at this. Select this. Let's select this. I have no idea where Philadelphia came from. Now see, this is clearly a flaw. I don't like this already. I selected this because I wanted to be able to change the recipient's info. If you scroll back up here, it said, which would you like to change? And it gave me the different prompts and the options were recipient's in info, um, the arrangement, 
things like that. So this is definitely a flaw that I'm seeing in this 1-800-Flowers Assistant. Um, it's not even giving me an option to change her address. And I've never used this bot before and I've never put an address in for this person. It's making an assumption based on the person's name and the person's phone number, which the phone number and the person belong in two different states. I just used it, I just made it up for, for purposes of doing this uh, this review. So I think this is definitely a, a fatal flaw in this bot. I am not very pleased with this. So I think at this point, unless they allow you to actually put in the recipient's address, um, which they didn't even ask for, I would stick with using the actual website or calling in um, because I think this is definitely a flaw. And if you are just doing something quickly, you're not going to see this and your, your uh, loved one is not going to be getting their arrangement of flowers. So that is my estimation. Everything was going well until we got up to that point. Um, I'd love for you guys to check this out for yourselves. This is the 1-800-Flowers.com bot. Um, and you can find it through uh, keyword flowers at Quazoo. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if this uh, happens to you as well. I'm Anisha Go for Quazoo. Take care.